Hi, I'm Bob Garrett, CEO of Hackensack Meridian Health. Thank you for your interest in learning about our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion throughout our network, and especially in our academics department. New Jersey is one of the most diverse states in the entire nation, and we know that our differences are one of our many strengths. Our network is deeply committed to building a physician workforce that reflects the communities that we serve. We are proud of the diversity among our medical school students. Half are from communities of color and a quarter of those are from communities underrepresented in medicine. Diversity, equity, and inclusion are top priorities within our organization. In fact, the network was just ranked for the first time on Diversity Inc.'s National Health Systems ranking, a badge of honor we will all celebrate. Additionally, nine of our hospitals have been nationally recognized for their commitment to equitable and inclusive care for the LGBTQ community. We're committed to providing high quality, compassionate care throughout the network and will continue to build a diverse and equitable work environment. I invite you all to hear from our academic leadership team and a few of our residents who will further talk about our organization's commitment to these very vital topics. Thank you and I hope you consider joining our team. I think our leadership understands that for us to provide the highest quality of care to our diverse populations, we need a diverse group of providers. Healthcare may happen in clinics and offices and hospitals, but health occurs in the community and we want to make the health of the community better. And to do that, we need to reflect the community that we serve. It's one of the other reasons why I'm really excited to come to work every day, knowing that this is such an important part of our culture, top down. My department, which is emergency medicine, um, has a diversity and inclusion committee that's supported by everyone from our chair down to our um, APPs, residents, and our faculty. Um, and we basically run initiatives that reach the entire hospital and that are open to the network, including our annual diversity day conference, our longitudinal emergency medicine, diversity and humanistic medicine curriculum. Another project that we do is our underrepresented in medicine scholarship, which is open to medical students who rotate through our department. As as leaders, we need to empower our residents to go out into the community and to really understand diversity and embrace it, and then we know that we will have passed it on. We want our residents to become change agents. Whether we want to start a new project or have a new education initiative, we can almost be sure that our faculty and departments will support those new projects. We have a, a diverse group of residents, attendings, and faculty. And I know as a volunteer and a medical student, I really felt included and welcomed. And I think that's really important. One of the things that I was looking for in a residency program is if they had a variety of patient pathophysiology. It is definitely important as far as a learning experience for us to be exposed to different pathology so that wherever we go after residency we'll be equipped with the knowledge and the expertise to handle those patients. In terms of diversity in our patient population there is a plethora to gain from. We're all in different locations, we're serving different communities, but we're linked together and we want to link together around our D, E, and I initiatives. The fact that our leadership committee is really promoting diversity and equity really makes me feel welcomed here and it makes me feel great to be a part of uh, the HMH team. We can never underestimate the importance of diversity and equity. Every organization has to really reach out and form it, go with it, because it makes everybody better. HMH is really setting the tone for the future of medicine. This is a really important part of who we are. 